Hey, it's Alicia and Kathy again here with another episode of RCTV, and today we're going to talk about the woman's hoop blonde dress, specifically the belt. I'm gonna move Kathy's veil here so we can see what's going on. And right now we've just pinned the belt in the back so I can show you what we're gonna do with the nightly knot. Uh, and for this, you can use a safety pin or a veil pin, whatever you have lying around, because it's gonna be covered up. So what we're gonna do for this nightly knot is we're gonna kind of make sure you're pulling this a little bit to the right side of the dress and then take the base of this long strip and stick it up underneath in between the back and the strap. How about that, here we go. Going up. And then now that we have this nice loose loop, we're gonna bring it right down in the middle and we're gonna just gently, ever so slightly, pull this down, kinda tuck it and keep going until it's nice and flat. Pull from the top a little bit, bring it down, pull from the top a little bit more, bring it in, top and down, and now we've got it nice and flat here on her back and our pin is totally covered, and now we have our nightly knot. And now you'll see from the front, her dress is all nice and it's, the belt is situated here tightly under the bust. And now we're just gonna make sure the gathers here are pulled nicely so everything lies flat and comfortable right under her bust. Okay, and here's our close-up. I'm having Kathy hold the belt up under her bust over in the front. And what we wanna do here is we wanna make it tight enough that it's secure and it stays up, but not so tight that it's restricting. So we're gonna bring this here and we're gonna just stick our pin, make sure it goes through both layers of fabric so, here, so they stay together. And remember, the pin is gonna be hidden, so you don't need to worry about it. It can be seen right now. And then we're gonna make sure we kind of pull this over to the right a little bit, grab the bottom of our strap, and we're gonna go up through in between her back and the belt, and then tuck it into our nice loose loop. And then we're gonna make sure that we pull this just nice and flat. It's not gonna be tight like a modern day men's tie. It's just gonna be nice and flat to cover up that pin and look delicate and beautiful on the back. Here we go. It's nice and flat. Kathy's got it in the front. And there you go to show you the three different collar variations for the women's hoop blonde. Right now we have a super wide neck right here. The collar is very open. And this is just to show off your kirtle or underdress. Uh, there are different styles of underdress collars. And so if you wanna show it off, you can go a bit wider and that's totally fine. It's completely period appropriate. And then we can also do what you saw if you watched our other video on how to do the belt for the hoop one. And it's just a little bit tighter, shows a little bit less of the kernel, and shows a little bit more of the hoop blonde in the front, up in the breast. And then if you want to get a little fancy with it, you can use a brooch or a pilgrim's badge and just kind of pin this together right here at the top. So you're just gonna bring the collar, kind of pop out this bottom part of the collar, take your brooch or pilgrim's badge, and stick the pin right in there. Let's see if we can get this to go straight in. Just gather it together. Take your pin. And you're all set. And here's the close-up of what the brooch or pilgrim's badge will look like on the collar once you've pinned it. And another quick variation for the hoop wand is something you can do here with the angel wing sleeve is you can gather it up to show off a little bit more of the arm and your underdress, your kirtle. And all you do is take any old pin that you have and pin it up, or you can let it hang loose and have it be nice and flowy at your side. Thanks for watching RCTV. It's another episode covering the woman's hoop wand and all the different variations and different ways you can style yourself to be period accurate. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out everything here on revivalclothing.com and we'll see you on another episode. Bye.